Well, listen, over the weekend, we have got some great people investing into us and speaking into us as Young Leaders Lab. And, uh, you know, we've got, we've got some people from all around the world. We've got Peter and Laura Toggs tuning in tomorrow. We've got Nick Pierce speaking. We've got Anna Lodbeck is going to be coming back doing a session. Reggie Dabs. We've got people from all over the place. Tim Summers from Elevation. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you, uh, you sign up for one of those breakouts tomorrow and the different streams that are taking place. But right now, we've got my absolute favourite. I believe the best of the best. And I'm not just saying this. I absolutely believe it. And you know what? In the chat as well, it was popping off about socks. And uh, I don't know why it was popping off about socks in the chat. But this guy is wearing the best socks that I've seen today. Gary James Clark. How are you, Dan? Do you, do you, like, do you like my socks? This, I love the this socks. Is, this Melons. Is, this is Antonio having his way with me. <laughs> And so this is, this is your gift for uh, letting us put on Young Leaders Lab and being a part of it. Yeah, so I thought there's always a first, it may be the last, but anyway. No, I reckon it's just going to progress from here, keep going on and on and uh, on. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. This is, so, Gary, this, uh, is, this, is your, this is your time. This is my time. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, I guess... Um, you know, I'm just mindful of um, people who, who are watching and I know Dan and McLaren spoke at the start and um, what is Leaders Lab? And it's not just a, it's not a let's get together just young people and yeah. talking about young people and leadership and all of that, but it's about you, hopefully, that it's not just young people who are... Um, who are, how do I say, who are involved in this right now. And it's about young people. It's not just for yeah. young people, but it's about young people for young people. Yeah. And that's a, you have to think about what I just, <laughs> what I, what I just said. And, and, um, and so it's, it's really looking at, and I know you talked about um, all the different challenges mm. that are taking place even right now in this, this COVID-19 um, thing yeah. that's taking place because it's, it's way more now than, than a sick. virus. Yeah. It's way more now than, than people getting sick and the tragedy of people dying and all of that. It, there's so much social impact that is taking place. There's yeah. so much for a lot of people. It's almost like their future has been ripped out from uh, b before them. Yeah. There's so, so many people that had all these expectations about life and we're talking and it's not just young people for a lot of people all my expectations they've all gone they've all just gone south yeah very rapidly and so but when we start thinking about about young people and our responsibility to them and uh, and what can what can we do you know I was um I was just thinking about the the whole the whole thing you know um I, I'm not I'm, I'm not smart enough to go, this, this is perfectly accurate, what I'm about to say. But, you know, if I'm, I'm sitting here and I, I would represent, I'm just on the cusp of, am I, an, am I a really young baby boomer or a really old Gen Xer? Um, it all depends where the criticism's been thrown, <laughs> which way I'll choose, whether yep. I'm a baby boomer because everyone's pounding the Gen Xers or if I'm a Gen Xer because everybody's pounding the... The, the baby boomers, but um, but then we've got baby boomers, Gen Xs, then we have uh, millennials, mm. then we have Gen Z, mm -hmm. and we have, has anyone labelled the next lot? No, not yet. And what we tend to do, the, what, the thing that fascinates me is, and as, when you think about it, I'm not sure this is how we spoke about people right. up until this modern era that we find ourselves in, yeah. whatever that means. And, uh, and so we've sort of broken down this generation. Yeah. Uh, from my understanding, a, a generation is uh, the time we live in right now. Everyone who, who lives right now is actually part of this generation. Yeah. But somehow we break it all down and we've, we've broken it down into to different, different groups. And so everyone's got s specific attributes and attitudes and millennials are like this and Gen yeah. Zs are like this and Gen Xs are like this and baby boomers are like this and well you know we got problems and if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be like this and if they were like this then we wouldn't have this and it's all this sort of almost if we're not careful if we've got we break it all down into generations but 
if we're not careful, it's like generation conflict now. Yes, true. And, true. Um, and, and because of the this, this so-called differences, and I wonder whether the differences have just got to do with stage of life, the opportunity of life, the era that we live in, yeah. that create the distances, the differences, I should say. But I just wonder whether we, instead of thinking about young people and the, um, the breaking down into generations, that we go, hey, this is, uh, this is, um, this is the, the um, how do you say, the, um, the generation that exists now and every one of us has got a part to play in it. Yeah, great. Every, every, every one of us has got to contribute somehow. Yeah. It's to the, the benefit of the future that, um, that the older help the young. Yeah. That's to the benefit of the future that the young contribute in a meaningful way so that not just their future, but the future, yeah. the generation's gonna come after them if we break it down into generations. Yeah, I love that. Those that follow them, that the world is a, a better place because of what they contribute. And yeah. I just wonder from, from church perspective, we stop breaking ourselves down and thinking into generations and just go, no, hey, we're, we're a generation. Yeah. We're, we're Christ-centered people and we care about everyone. You know, that's, that's yeah, my, I love that. I love that's that. My, do, you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I guess when we're talking about Leaders Lab, and I know you and I, when we're talking about it, it's not just uh, how, how do we just be a church that's got a good youth group? Because that, that just that word youth group probably is a lot of connotations. <laughs> but um, because if it's just a youth group, well, we, well, we just look after young people. Yeah. You know, they're in our church, so you've got to look after them rather than saying, hey, we're a church that's got a youth ministry heart and everyone in our church can play their part somewhere in this youth ministry yeah. um, expression. I love because that. there's so much there's so much need yeah. there at the moment. And you know, everything from I mean, you know, if you take um, you know, talk about I know there's just in our neighborhood just last night, I think it was, there was yeah. a there was, a, there was some stabbings that, that took place and the knife crime issue and, and all of that. And you think, well, it's, it's linked to gun, uh, not gun, um, um, what is it, gang? Yeah. Gang crime and all of that sort of stuff. And you think, well, you know, why do kids end up in gangs? Why do young people end up in gangs? Um, is that because they've found an environment where they find acceptance? Is that a, a place, an environment where they feel like, you know, I can find my place of belong? Yeah, yeah. And I, I've got some form of expression, whether it's right or wrong expression, it's still, still there. They find something. And I just wonder whether as for church and whatever, you know, if you're, you're watching and you're, you're not a teenager or a young person and you go, you know, what can we all do mm. and put the challenge out to young people? Yeah. What can we do to create just this amazing environment yeah. that you come into and you find that sense of belonging, you find that sense of um, that, that where um, you're not, you know, I love that what, what Anna was speaking to you about. Yeah. I thought if, if ever there could be a something go viral, I hope that goes viral. It was viral. so good, um, such a good conversation. Yeah. But you know, you imagine an environment where, yeah. where young people come into, and there's this just this incredible sense of, of, um, of acceptance that yeah. you, you, you can belong, you you're treated like you're important, and and all of those sorts of things, where we can together as a church create this really, really good environment. Yeah. I think environments are so so vital, and I know like that's why I'm, I go I'm passionate about some of the. Well, some of the stuff, all the stuff that we do, because an environment changed my life, and I know people's lives that are around me that stepping into a place, it changed their life. And so, if we can continue to do that, where we create a positive environment for young people, it will change their life. Yeah, and, and I believe that, and I, I believe that we can create, in, and it's not just environments where they find acceptance, and all. it's an it's an environment where. Um, where the, that in that environment you, you find the people that you need. Yeah. Right. And yeah. one of the, I guess, one of the important things I see that person as a as a role model. Yeah. Now some people go role model, mentor, all of that, which, which yeah, that's all all important. But I think the challenge is, is if I was to put to sort of um, 
you know, older people. Mm. I mean, you're not a young person anymore. Sorry to disappoint you, I'm but not, anyway. no. but but you're 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 you're, you're somebody who's who, who's a role model, and I think I think there's a lot of people just by making yourself available yeah. and visible in whatever it is that is developed within, and that's what a lot of these workshops are all about. Yeah, is how can I find my place somewhere? Yeah that help, I can help create this environment, how I can be a person who's going to be, believe in people, and at the same time, I can present myself as a role model in this particular yeah. field. And yeah. I think that's a, that's a really, really important aspect of it. And then at the same time, I think that in that right environment, and I think the working together, seeing ourselves as one generation, yeah. not generations all existing in the same space of time, but where the space of time says we're a generation. Yeah. And we're actually committed to helping create opportunity yeah. for, for people. And, you know, we, we live in a world where everyone talks about, well, it's all about who you know, all right? And, um, you know, there's an unfortunate downside to that if you're, if you're not in one of those people that knows someone yeah. or if you're not someone who's known. If you are someone who's known or you're someone who knows and you know someone that can open a door for you, then the world, it's... Pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Or yeah. it's, it's easier, yeah. right? You've still got to make the most work, of that yeah. opportunity. But I think we can, um, we can really look at what, what opportunities is the world presenting mm. to us right now? What are the, um, what are the, the challenges that are, that are there that need to be solved? Yeah. And how do we, as people, say, you know what, I can, I think I can create opportunity for, for young people. Yeah. You know, I know even when we're thinking about church now, church has changed so much. Um, it's, I think we've almost been in this COVID thing for so long that if we're not careful, we've sort of forgotten what church was. That to some extent, it might be a good thing. Um, but... But what's church need to be now? Mm. And um, what does church look like in the future? And, and we've sort of got to pioneer some new things yeah, because yeah. that's what the time this season demands, mm. not just that we're sitting here waiting and we're not lamenting, but we're going, what, what's required of us now? Yeah. What do we need? To, what does tomorrow potentially um, require of us? Yeah. And I think we can be really thinking about how do we create opportunities in what we do where we're, you know, thinking of things like, you know, we're doing this online church or whatever it's called. I yeah. still don't know what it's called, right? But anyway, it's not like I was used to. But, but it takes a whole lot of skills mm -hmm. to actually do this. And this is the hot thing now in society, yeah. right? I've yeah. just given an example. Yeah, yeah. So in, as church, how do we create opportunities for people to get involved in a socially distanced difficulty, but it's still got to be done, so there's, there's skills to be learned in that. And how do, how do we create new opportunities yeah. that people learn skills for, I'm going to go in, into the workplace. Yeah. And, uh, and I think inside church culture and people who are church people, um, it's already been talked about that you know, unemployment amongst young people is going to be, young people are going to be the hardest hit when it comes to, to workplace. Yeah. Um, which probably means for some of them that probably there's a bit of an attitude change may, may help them a bit. But, um, but the, but still we can't just go, well, there's a generation that we go, well, COVID-19 hit, they were, school was dis disrupted, opportunities were cut down, um, haven't got the right haven't got the right skill sets yet because they haven't had a chance to develop them yeah. and we just discard them. And the challenge is us in society to make sure that that doesn't happen. Yeah. But, the, but how do you make sure that doesn't happen? It's within your own means. Exactly. And yeah. I think as, if we can get people thinking about, you know, how do I create something that actually is going to... Um, open up opportunity yeah. for people so that we've got this great environment where we go, oh, you know what, I'm in a good environment, there's, I've got people who believe in me, I've got, there's role models that I can look to, but not just that, they're people who are committed to maybe just opening up an opportunity mm. for me to, um, to step into. Because the beauty in what you're saying in all of these four things is it, it doesn't mean that you have to be a youth leader 
to be able to do this. No. It's, it's whatever you're in. I can be a business owner. Exactly. Yeah. Where, where, whatever you're in, wherever you're at, how do I use that to benefit somebody else, to benefit the younger, younger people? Yeah, and how do I make myself available to be a mentor? Yeah. How do I make myself a, available to be someone who's trying to, prov you know, upskill? Yeah. Or, or how do I become someone who steps in and becomes a, a voice into what it is that we're, we're doing? Yeah. And so uh, that's, that's the whole point of this yeah. lab. You know, a lab is, yeah, yeah. is, in the lab you do experiments, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I think that's what we got to, that's mm -hmm. why I like the idea of lab because um, when you first started talking about it, because I sort of hijacked your idea. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's all right, it's good. But it's a lab, it's where you're doing experiments, you're trying things, you're exploring new ways of doing things yeah. and new ways to provide opportunity and, and all of that. So the whole point of it being a lab is for people to come in, get involved, find somewhere to find their place. Yeah. And I guess, you know, that would be my challenge to two people is to really look at this and go, this, this could be my place. This yeah. is a starting point. And if we, if we don't despise the day of small beginnings, right? Yeah. Which, uh, you know, despise just simply means to look at something and say, well, it's not really worth my consideration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And often small beginnings, people just go, ah, I don't know. But, but you know what? If we look at small beginnings, we don't despise them that we say, hey, something new has got to be developed. Yeah. There's new ideas. Um, and at the same time then, from that, go, well, hey, it's, this could be a catalyst too. Um, it's not just, oh, here's an idea, but it could be a catalyst idea. Yeah. And I really believe in that as we move, move forward, and I you know, put the challenge to a lot of people who are interested in what are we doing for... For, for young people and the emerging generation is um, what catalyst ideas yeah, great. Are, are gonna come out of this? What catalyst ideas are you gonna come up with? It's yeah. like young people, you know, what, um, what new ideas are you gonna come up with? There's, um, it, we can look at, look at it and go, well, there's all this constraint, there's all these, I, everything I expected has been shut down, but yeah. the world still exists. Yeah. The world is still full of people. Life has still got to go on. So what are the new ideas? What are the new opportunities that people can look to and say, hey, this, this is a winner opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if, if everything that people think about, if they see it as, if people benefit from what I do, the reality is it's probably going to be successful. It's great. And so my challenge to everybody and young people is, go, you know, come on, what is... Look for what is what are the um, what are actually the new new ideas? What are the new new entrepreneurs yeah. going to do? Um, a lot of we live in a world, and I know it's you know frustrating for me as it is for anybody how unequal the world is that we live in, and the wealth disparity and and all of that. And you, I saw something just recently: how many billionaires made X amount of billion this year increase in their wealth wow. because of what's going on now. So you see how quickly wealth can be generated. Yeah. But what if, what if the ideas and what if people are saying, you know what, I'm gonna be an entrepreneur and I'm really gonna believe I can, I, I, I can generate wealth, but I'm, I'm, instead of complaining about the inequality of the world we live in, have all the things you want, but at the same time use your wealth to make the world a better place. Right. And so I think, you know, whatever ideas and the entrepreneurs, I really, let's, let's believe that we're gonna just, you know, see awesome people come, yeah. come out of what we do yeah. over the years to come, where they actually do amazing things and their goal is I want, I want to do all of that, not for my own self gain, it's yeah. okay to gain, but I want to make a difference in the world and make the world a better place. That's great, I love, I love the thought that you said, about this being one generation. And we don't split it up. We actually see how do we play our part in, in building this generation. Like for you practically, what is it that you go, all right, this is, this is how I'm gonna play my part in, in helping this generation? For me personally? Yeah. As a Gary? As Gary. Um, well, I guess I have, I have the opportunity where I, I, can, I can create and experiment new ideas. Mm to see what we, you know, I've got 
it's sort of hard for the house season so and all of that. So I've got I've got some something I'm really excited about that yeah, we, yeah. that I think we can make it. So I'm in a position where I can come up with ideas and 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 really try and rally people to them. So yeah. I'm sort of looking for I ideas. I'm um, I'm making a decision not to get frustrated with um, with young people. Yeah. Because that's a big thing as well, right? Yeah, and yeah. so it's a so I just make a decision. I'm not going to get frustrated. Um, you know, I didn't get. You know, there's there's lots of lots of protest and there's lots of all of that. And um, and I sort of ask myself if I was young again, um, where would I be in the um, in the protest? Where would I be in the? Come on, this isn't right. Come on, there's something the world needs fixing. Um, I would probably be really mouthy as a young person. So, um, so I, I've got to be tolerant yeah. as an older person. Yeah. And I've got to be looking for um, who can who can I look to and say, you know, someone you're young as far as I'm concerned, and look at you and say, come on, man, there's a world that needs changing. What are you? I believe you can do it. What what yeah. can you do? What yeah. can I what can I provide for you? What sort of support can I give you? As an individual, yeah. so I'm just looking to how do I play my part in those? How do I, how do I make sure that the environment that I, I live in, that, that I have influence over or step into, makes people feel like, hey, I, I, I'm not going to get excluded from this. How yeah. do I, how do people that I come across get the feeling like I, I believe in you? I think you can, I think you can do something. And um, I guess the the difficulty is is try to be a role model as well. <laughs> Which I, I think you do a great job. And I think that's why there's so many young people in the life of our church and so many older young people in the life of our church that, that have a stance to go, let's do that for the other younger people in our generation. It's amazing. Listen, Gary, our time's nearly up. Is there any last things you want to say? No, yeah, all, all I want to say is, you know, just if I talk to everyone who's looking, is, um, come on, I really want you to really ask yourself really open yourself up to saying, God, speak to me, give me ideas. You know, this is a tough season we find ourselves in now. And I really believe that God is going to speak to people, going to give people ideas because God is the answer. Yeah. And, uh, and so come on, just open yourself up and just allow the Holy Spirit to stir your heart, to stir your thinking, open your eyes, God ideas, and uh, really believe that God's going to use this as, and it will be small. I promise you'll be small, but um, if you stick to it, do it for the right reasons, let's believe God's going to make it, make it big. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Can you pray for us? Yep, yeah. all right. Father, we just, I just pray for every, every person, every um, person that's listening right now and every person that's going to be engaged in this. I pray that your hand would be over this. Lord, I pray that this is, yes, it's a young leader's lab, but Lord, I pray that this would be a, 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 a catalyst, a, a catalyst moment for a lot of people where literally because of what they do in the course of their life, the people will be able to say, hey, you made the world a better place because what you did. Lord, we commit this time to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.